Hi, so today I thought I'd do something a bit different. I've been thinking for a while that it would be really interesting and maybe useful to you to see how I approach a mix from scratch, like with nothing, just as it comes from the studio. But of course, it takes way too long to do a mix uh, for a YouTube video, and I thought I can't really do a whole series of videos, that would just be too much. Um, so I kind of passed the idea by, and then I thought, oh, why don't I just see what I can do in 45 minutes? Maybe that would be useful. Um, partly because, for me, one of the most important aspects of mixing is that you need to have a vision, a definite vision, about what's going to make that track work best artistically, emotionally, and conceptually. And then you've got to run with that. And that informs everything about how you mix because there's so many different ways you could mix a track, so you need to have that, in my view, that's really important. And that might come from the client entirely. It might come as a mixture of, of, of discussions with the client and, and me, or the client might hand it entirely over to the me to decide. It, it covers that whole range, depending on the client. But however that vision is uh, come about, you need to have something like that in order to make the mix really effective, in my view. So I thought it would be useful um, to show that aspect of this is what I've decided it needs to be like, and this is how I'm going to try and get it there uh, as far as I can within 40 minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to get it that far compared to what it would be like if I had hours or a day or longer, but I hope you'll find it useful. Maybe you'll pick up some tips on the way about how I uh, work and, and how I move a sound from where it starts to where I think it needs to be. Um, so, yeah, hope you find this useful and let's get going. So, just before we start actually mixing, I thought I'd put in a little insert here of how the mix turned out so you can hear a comparison of how it turned out to what we started with, just because I think it would be useful to hear where it ended up before we start, and then we'll jump back in and start mixing. So, here's the track before mixing. And here's how it sounds after mixing. Okay, so here we are. Uh, just gonna have a look here. What I've done nothing to this really apart from just bus things, set things up for, um, I set up some buses, um, as you'll see as we go along, but there's no effects in here. Um, and no, everything is, is set level apart from my brother guitar sounds slightly because they were way too loud compared to the rest, just even for listening to it dry. But apart from that, everything else is just flat and ready to, start. So let's just have a listen to this, how this sounds now with nothing on it. Okay, it sounds clean and well recorded, but very dry, and I think it needs to be big. Um, that's how I'm hearing it now. Uh, I just think it really needs to have a big, there's no keyboards or chords or anything like that. So that means to me that the other instruments need to kind of fill that space. Um, so I'm going to make, go for a big sound on the drums and bass, and I think it needs to be quite aggressive and hard hitting uh, and at the moment it's not the playing is but the sounds are not so now uh, let's start with um, the kick drum and see what we've got there
okay, very clicky uh, and defined, uh, but um, not a lot of meat and not a lot of uh, power and body. So, okay, let's check the snare out. Boxy, um, not great sounding. Uh, let's try the overheads. Um, okay, not bad. I don't like the sound of the snare so much coming through them, but Yeah, I'm not sure about that kick. It's a bit boomy. So, uh, let's listen to the drums on their own. Oh, by the way, just going to have a look here uh, so we can see that as it happens, there are no toms going on in this segment. So I am not going to have to bother with the toms, uh, which is good, because uh, I'm just going to be looping this section here. So I can ignore those. Um, so, okay, um, let's listen to the hi-hat. Okay, not, not, not great. Um, pretty kind of dull sounding, and it's picking up an awful lot of the rest of the kit, and what it is picking up to my ears is not particularly flattering of the kit. So I'm going to start with the kick. Um, let's see what we can do with that. Hearing some, hearing some sub there on the kick. That's a bit of a, almost like an after noise. It's not coming from the kick itself. It's almost a kind of in between the kick hit. So I'm going to try and try and pull pull that out a bit. So now I'm going to go for some shaping of the kick drum. I'm going to try and bring out some more body in it. See what we can do with that. Okay, let's give it a lot more body. I'm finding the click just too clicky. Um, usually the thing is to try to get it more clicky, but in this case it's so clicky that I, I'm finding it over the top, so I'm gonna see what I can do with that. I mean, that works great for some salsa music, for the, but for this I think it needs to be more of a midi click and not so high up, so I'll see what I can do with that.
are, I think that's a good start. Now, because of the time, I'm not going to be level matching everything um, I normally do, um, but there just isn't time. Uh, so moving on, what do I think about this? Uh, I think it's getting there, but I'm going to leave that and and listen to it in context for a minute and then maybe go to the snare. I'm just going to get everything here going out. Try the drum bus here just so we can solo things easily. Okay, that's sounding a lot better. But the snare, let's. Let's have a listen to the snare. Okay, I might phase a line if I had more time, but I don't have time, so I'm just going to go with it. Uh, to me, it sounds boxy, and I think this snare needs to be really aggressive and really smacky. So I'm going to see what I can, and with more kind of, yeah, more attack, more body. Uh, see what I can do with that. And also, the sound coming from the rest of it, from the other kit through the, this mic. It's not doing a lot for me, so I think I'm going to gate this. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start by gating this. See what that's like. Okay. There are, in fact, issues with ghost notes here, um, but I'm going to pretend that they aren't there because that is a much bigger deal trying to get a snare with ghost notes, and I don't have the time for that. There are ways of dealing with that, um, but I'm going to just pretend that those aren't there because it's not a big thing in this section of the song. So, a little bit of a shortcut there, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure this is right yet, but let's let's move on from here and see what else we can do.
Okay, so now it's, in, it's improved, but it's still got a long way to go, I think. Um, I think I want to bring out more tone. Uh, so I could probably do that by adjusting the gate, but I think maybe I think maybe I'm going to try Transient Designer um, because I don't think the gate's really going to bring out what I want. So um, let's go for. Okay, so I set that transit designer up, but I've had to set it up um, and then come back. So I'm going to just AB it from here. It's opening the interface that seems to freeze things up. So let's have a go with that. Okay, so that's pretty... Um, might be too much, but I'll dial that back later if needed. Uh, now it really needs some more smack and some real aggression, so... Okay, they're starting to get there for a kind of smacky snare. It's not perfect, but let's have a listen to the overheads uh, and see what they're adding in or not. A lot that I think's that great. Um, 
I don't know if the low end there is really helping much. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that once we have the base. I'm not sure about the low end in, in that, those overheads. So I'm gonna just come back and I'm gonna work on the base. So let's have a listen to the base amp. Okay. Make sure the base amp's on there. Where is that, okay. Okay, well the amp to me sounds muddy. Um, I'm not that keen on it. It sounds muddy and loose. And uh, this needs to be tight and aggressive. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get that out of that kind of slightly woofly, muddy bass amp. So let's see what we can do um, with the bass. Level good on that because I'm going to reamp this. This is a great sounding plugin, but it takes ages to load the GUI for some reason. getting fatter and more defined and a little more aggressive. I think I need to go further with that. If I had more time, I'd do a chain of effects to get that, but I'm just gonna do a, a kind of quick one here. This actually is a really great sounding plugin, but I wouldn't normally jump for this. But in this case, I'm gonna do that.
Okay, I think that, that's sounding a lot better. Uh, but the kick's getting buried, so I'm just going to sort that out. Okay, bass is maybe a little on the dirty side, but I think we're going to have to move on here because of the time. So I'm going to go back now and check out those overheads and see what they're doing at the low end because I was a little unsure about that. I mean, now that we got the bass. Oh yeah, that is so much cleaner and tighter. Okay, so let's deal with that then. Um, it's hard to tell about the low end until you've got the bass in there, I find. Because without the bass, you know, that low end could sound okay, but with the bass, um, particularly that kind of bass sound and the kind of kick drum sound I got, I just think it's making a mess, the low end from the overhead. So, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, Now a bit of shine. Getting there. Uh, hi hat. I seem to remember that was a mess. Okay. Clear out the bottom on this.
it's not really cutting it. Uh, I mean, that's improved the mud, but I just want to have it cut through. So let's see. So yeah, a bit of glue I think on the drum bus. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, here on the release, it, it, here it's got like a more kind of four on the floor kind of feel because um, it's kind of releasing every kind of whole half note. Whereas here it's much faster and it's kind of more of a bouncy feel and I hard to know which I want to go for, but I think I'm going to go for this one. Time to bring in the guitars, I think.
here. I think I want this guitar to be, because this one is like this. Let's just get over here so can... Now this other one, I think that what would sound good is that the first one sounds like huge and big and spacious and the other one has its own space. The other one to me sounds more kind of monstrous and so I think it needs to be, yeah, just really a different, different treatments uh, for the reverb. So. See what we've got here. I think we'll go for this. Okay, let's see what that's like. This one, yeah, this one wants something really uh, special, and I think it wants something uh, a bit more designed. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, this is a good one for that. So now I just think the guitars need a bit of smoothing. So, let's see. Again, I think I'm gonna use different compressors in each one just to give them a different effect, a different sound. It sound really different anyway, but just a different effect, uh, a different compression effect I think can be really, um, Another good way of giving them each their own kind of world, which I'm sort of looking for. So I'm going to start with a guitar on the left.
okay this GUI is um, not happy about the screen recording so it's gonna have to be a bit fiddly here I want that up a bit more Okay, I think we're getting there. Um, so I think we might be just about just about there. So I'm just going to balance everything, and then we'll see what, see what it's like, and we'll compare it with the unmixed and see where we got to. I think this is good. I think the kick still needs just a little bit more umph to it. So I'm just going to see what I can do with that. Give it a bit of bit of dirt, which is what this is going to do. Pull that back a bit. Okay, and I think it still needs even a bit more. So, uh, yeah, now what am I looking for here? Uh,
and now we're just going to compare this to the dry version before pre-mixed. So there we are, uh, very quick mix, uh, if I had more time I'd probably do it really differently but for just a real quick see what I can do in a very short time, um, hope you got something from this in terms of seeing my approach with the idea being that from the outset I listened to it and came up with a, a plan, a, a kind of an idea for what I thought was going to make it work feel wise and just went for that. Um, and got everything, just drove everything towards that idea that I, I heard as to how it was going to work. Could have taken this in many different directions, but I decided, you know, punch and aggression and uh, kind of big, low end, solid low end was going to was going to do it. And for me, this works as a kind of general approach. Uh, bit rough and ready, of course, in the time, but I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, please uh, give it a like and do subscribe and. Hope to see you next time.